Welcome along everybody to tonight's fixture. Welcome along everybody. Um, yeah, this is going to be a good one tonight. Uh, nice calm night here in the UAE here in Dubai. We're down in Dubai Sports City. It is Knights Eagles 2 versus Barrel House 1. It's Division 1 of the Northern Emirates of UAE Rugby. So, players are on the field. Looking like we're about to get underway. Do you have any comments, questions, predictions of the scores? How do you think the game's going to go? Is it week one in the forwards, one in the back line? Lots of kicking, lots of tries. Let us know. Chuck in the comment section down below and let's get engaged. Here we go. So far, new to UAE Rugby here. Uh, we got a nice eagle on the left, playing left to right, and then on the right-hand side is the men in pink. It is Barrel House 1's. Position in the middle. And just like they were underway. Oh, bit of an unfortunate start there. Nice eagles kicking down the full, so they bring it back to halfway. Let's see what Barrett House can do from here. Just enough there in halfway. Still have some fresh ball to start. Send it out the back line. Early days, of course, but Barrel House here looking to test out the defense. And here we go, Gusty number 10 going through the, to the line there, finding space. Barrel House on the attack here, only meters out. Getting more to the center of the field now, setting himself up. Penalty to Barrel House there, man going off his feet. Quick tap by Barrel House, switch of direction. Looks like a little knock on there by the Barrel House boys, so uh, ball handed over there to the Knight Eagles. Nice little dart out there from the tap, giving the team a bit of space. See what Knights Eagles will do from here. Looking for a clearance kick. On the space and bringing him upfield a bit. Looks like we've got 40 metres there. in the line out. It's been a wide early. Paradise, they like to play this wide game. They've got some fast players on the wing there. But unfortunately, ball not going to hand and uh, ball going over the line. So, nice Eagles. Looking to push out of their half, really. 30 metres out from their own line. What can they do from here? Oh, well collected there and looks like, yep, great try in the corner. Great pressure there by the uh, by the runners. They lost the uh, line out there, but well collected and nice score in the corner. 
So big kick here coming up from out wide. That one just falling a little bit short. So we have a wherever you are from around the world, if you're here locally in the UAE, across in Africa, over in the United States, or anywhere through Oceania, let us know who you're supporting. This is the men in the orange, green and black, or the men in pink. Eagles, great position here. Quick tap, fast play. Not gone by Barrowhouse, but playing advantage. Offside advantage there, so nice Eagles, a great opportunity here. Uh, not gone there. Here we go, opportunity now the other way. Barrelhouse looking to go wide early. The Eagles player trying to get him out of the sideline. Well, Crosby, well to stay in there. Nice Eagle putting the pressure on here, looking to force that turnover. Of course, a mistake by the men in pink. It's not going forward. Mike Eagles, good defense, keeping that pressure up. Nice little inside ball there and making some meters over the game line. Mike Eagles going for that turnover, unsuccessfully. Here he goes out wide, speeds to the winger, Munners. Little shift forward. What's the bounce of the ball going to do? Oh, it hasn't been favorable, but there is pink play there. Great support. And Barrelhouse able to capitalize. Look at it in. And scoring under the post. Just a little bit unlucky there, Knights Eagles. But great follow up by Barrelhouse coming through and deservedly scoring the try. There we go. Next two points there. Taking it to 12 points to nil in favour of Barrel House. Yeah, Knights Eagles need to do a bit of what Barrel House are doing and uh, just need to keep hold of the ball when they have possession. They need to get possession first. Barrel House are holding on to their possession while they're protecting their possession. Doing fantastic. And it's uh, paying dividends. Knights you know I mean? Eagles can do it. Uh, if they can get the ball and uh, hold on to their own possession. They're doing well. Okay. See, if it's early days, though, isn't it? Early days. Early days and again. Early days and again. It's all to be revealed. Mm -hmm. Barrel out, ball in hand again. Just as you were mentioning the position. <laughs> Now here's, here's a chance now for Eagles to show what they can do. Uh, they have the ball, and uh, basically they just need to hold on to it. There's no support with him. He's got support now. They've shown good flair when they were down here the last time. But again, like you said, can they hold on to out uh, as we've spoken? I think it's a bit of a commentator's curse there. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, the big, that's the key. That's the key in this game with the tens and the COVID format. Mm -hmm. is keeping, holding on to the ball. Holding on to the ball. Because it's very like seven. Here we go. Big break for Barrel House. No one in his way. Just like that. 
Heads a dozen, tens at turns. And another score by Barrel House there, another five pointer. That's the thing with the uh, UAE out on the COVID restrictions, it's the tennis side game. Do you think teams are adjusting, adapting to the style here? I mean, I, 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 I really do think the teams have adapted really well in a short space of time that they've, um, they've tried to adapt and it's very hard mm -hmm. with uh, so little uh, coaching time and so and uh, little training time. But they've really embraced it uh, with the love of just wanting to play rugby. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think it's been fantastic uh, the way the teams have responded to this new format. And uh, they're doing really well. They're doing really mm -hmm. well. Some have adapted better than most. Yeah. Uh, but uh, for the most part, all have adapted really well. Exciting to watch, though, isn't it? I mean, there's uh, more space on the field. Play opens up just like you uh, saw there. And, and you know what I mean? It's so enjoyable for everyone to be back on the pitch yeah. and to be playing this format as well. What I've loved about a lot of the teams, and you can see it here, They've not just put their speedsters out, their fit runners, they're playing everyone, mm -hmm. everyone, Definitely. props, everyone's getting a go, you know, uh, even though it's a tense format and it's a speedsters game, everyone is getting a run out. Let's talk about speeds there. Yeah. Oh, oh boy, great turn over right there, nice eagles. Looking to Tackled, run that. released him, went for the ball, perfect for a referee, so easy to manage that. Oh, charged. Yeah, can he take advantage of it? Full advantage of it. Oh, bit of, a, bit of a nasty bounce of the ball there. Going over the back. And that's it. Uh, yeah, you know, we were talking earlier about uh, keeping hold of the ball. And Knight's Eagle's decision there to kick, you know. You Probably know, the wrong decision. Yeah, just take it into contact, yeah. reset it, give it out. You've got the players outside you. Mm -hmm. They have players outside. I mean, if you are going to clear it, you want to probably clear it with less pressure. <laughs> What's your head there? A bit closer to the line there, player. Okay, that's what Barlow's is doing. Take it into contact. Resetting. Nothing risky. There by Eagles. Nice Coming up Eagles. quickly, yep. Yeah. It's played by Knights nice Eagles. No need to commit. No mm -hmm. need to commit. You've got the player on the ground, he's got to release it. In this form of rugby, it's fantastic. He had missed the obstruction there, mm. so we'll reset. For those guys listening at home, we've got the absolute pleasure there. <laughs> I have one of the referees up here with the mic in his ear as well. <laughs> Let us know exactly what's going on in the middle. <laughs> Tell you what, this is one of the luxuries of today, tonight. You guys are in for a treat. Yeah. Hope you can hear me, guys. Uh, we're trying to keep the interest and, uh, you know, you know, it's, it's great. Uh, obviously, I'm watching the referee from a referee's perspective, but uh, we all enjoy the game. That's why we're a referee, you know, so it's fantastic. This is different. I see Brown House do this a lot. They pass the ball back off a tap. They and hold, stand. they wait, see what the defense does. It's a very sevens thing, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. Very sevens. Very sevens. But look, there you go. Paid and there, off. Uh, yeah, yeah, dividends. Yeah. They wait for the defense to come up. They see what the defence is doing and then they make their judgments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a clever tactic. Uh, it looks it looks unusual, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's being offered them. Uh, I refereed them last week. Uh, they, did, they did the exact same thing, and yeah, it, it paid off. For them. Both both clubs here are relatively new to the UAE in the rugby scene. Here, um, the scene, Barrett House in the last couple of years, especially the sevens, they had great success. Um, and it's coming out here. And I think this, the, the adaptation of the 10 man game, uh, these guys have really taken to it. I mean, the success they've had at the Sevens is now coming through, you can see here. Oh. Yeah, and uh, it, 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 that's the funny thing about Barrel House because they always uh, post themselves as social club. And uh, actually, they're now getting quite serious <laughs> yeah. because what's happening is uh, with their success, oh, just telling me. Not done, no, 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 no. 
but uh, with their success, people are joining them and they're mm -hmm. getting some good players. And you know, they, don't get me wrong, uh, a lot of the players are coming to the end of their careers as such, but they're still skillful. They still got the skill, mm -hmm. and, uh, they, and it's showing. It's showing. You know what I mean? Probably not showing towards the end of the game, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, definitely you can see the skill level and what they've enticed and brought in mm -hmm. from their success. So nice. I think they've gone from social to semi-social. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're doing well. Good pick up there by Mike Siegel. Mike Siegel's in position. We're, we're hoping they're going to hold on to their pill, it's keep their position. And you get the penalty. Just looking for a bit of composure there from the Knights Eagles. But it's still very, very early days. Here we go, Knights Eagles. Oh, ball fell on their favour, they're going back, but Barrel has to have it. <laughs> Thank you, man. You're my So there we go guys, end of the first 15 minute period here in Device Sports City, it's Barrel House 1s versus the Knights Eagles 2s, uh, it's only 15 minutes and we've still got two more periods to go, but um, yeah, what are your thoughts, what are your predictions, we'd love to see a comeback here by Knights Eagles, see nice close contact and nice close contest, it's always great to see, um, put your predictions in the comment section down below, let us know and we will see you after the break. Welcome back everybody to this uh, UAE Northern Emirates fixture. It's the Division 1, it's Barrel House 1 versus Knights Eagle 2. The current score uh, after the first period here, it is Knights Eagle 0, Barrel House 24. We're about to kick off the second period, 15 minutes, surely. And uh, thank you to everybody for joining us today. Lots of great comments, lots of great support for both teams um, on here. If you are new, uh, we have the Barrel House boys there in the pink and with the Knights Eagles in the orange and green. Of course that is a combination of when the two clubs amalgamated or combined uh, a few years back now. So doing well, doing great here. Uh, Dubai Sports City is the home ground. Fantastic facility and they're definitely maximizing that. Man and Miller just checking to make sure both teams are ready. And Barrel House getting us off underway, kicking deep. Nicely taken there by Knights Eagles. Securing the ball, breaking a few tackles. 
And that's what we like to see, some good running rugby. Night Eagles making use of the fill, up over halfway, getting that territory they wanted, that position. Using the ball, ooh, unlucky there. Unfortunately, doing so well down the sideline there. Great into play, great exchange of passes. Just outside the 22, it's a uh, crowd house ball. So, Knight Eagles, I'm sure we're looking to put a bit of pressure on here. A little pressure on the uh, barrel house thrower here, making sure he gets his right. Nicely secured there by barrel house. Quick up and defense, Knight Eagles. Again, it's there to put the pressure on. You can expect Knight Eagles players to get right up in the face. Nice quick fast pass there. Warehouse looking to just clear, just a little chip, uh, chip kick. Oh, it's a great bend off, great bump, and nice Eagles looking to go, looking to go, support there. Nice Eagles need a couple of more men, need a bit of support. There we go, nice composure. Oh. I just missed the call there. But, uh, that leaves a bit of pressure off our house. Nice Eagles looking really sharp with ball in hand. And that's why they just need to hold on to the ball a little bit longer. Get down the right end of the field. Oh, ball not out there by Brown House. So Nice Eagles in position. Looking up the options. Going for the kick. Nice and high in the light and Done justice there. Is the uh, you know that's what they're looking for, they're looking for the fumble, but mm. they just missed that one. I thought it might have been a little bit high, but referee still sees that differently. And it's Knights Eagles in a great position here, just inside the 22, looking to maximize what they can. Knights Eagles looking really to be the next team to score. Get five points on the board. Get seven points on the board. So referee just having a chat to the uh, captain and the players. Bellas need to come in. Captain needs to spread the word there. Players. Great start here by Knight Eagles. Great in, in the uh, second period here. Nice Eagles putting the pressure on, really getting close to the line now. Great opportunity, best opportunity they've had all game. Just need to hold onto the pill if they want to get across the line. Great little bump off, still strong. Strong boys, there we go. And yeah, there we go. Nice score there by Nice Eagles. Great drive. Lots of leg power, pushing himself across the line. Taking on three players, taking them across the line. So great score there by Nice Eagles. So conversion unsuccessful there, but great to see there. We've got Knight Eagles on the board. And takes the score. 24-5 in favor of Barrel House. So again, long kickoff by uh, Barrel House. Quick reply, kicking it back downfield, looking for the territory, but unfortunately they're out on the full.
So the Knights Eagle player putting some real pressure on there. Uh, Kyle needs to hold his composure. Crowd house about 30 meters out, but referee seen something. And now we have a nice Eagles player down. Great fixture here tonight. I mean, it's really fortunate. Uh, Division One game. We've got all four officials. You know, sometimes uh, it's not easy to get four officials uh, when you're still a developing nation. But it's fantastic to see. We've got four officials out on the field there, making sure keep an eye um, on everything. Two on the side, one in the middle, and one also helping out with substitutions. It's absolutely fantastic. Got to give it up to the guys in the yellow. Turnover by the Knights Eagles. Exactly what they wanted. You know, they're on their own half, they're on their 40. They want, a bit of, they want to get some more territory. We talked about it in the first period. They want to get down the other end of the field. They've opted for the kick. Takes it back, back up to halfway. But they'll look to reset and go again. one there. Get into the front of the line. Oh, nicely on the outside there. Bring back in. Big hit there. But still well contained. Bellas driving over the ball. for his free, but nice eagle still in position. There you go. Not running away. Getting back to support. Straightening things up. Barrelhouse putting the pressure on there, up quick off their line. Oh, another one. That's what they call the hostage pass. Hands up in the air, rib cage open. The Barrelhouse now in position. I have to ask a question on that one, but all good. A little fumble there on the ground by Bauthaus. So a good, you know, good period of play there. Yeah, good composure, just a little bit of awkward pass and ball to ground. Knights Eagles, great defense, putting the pressure on. There's that team styles again, a little quick tap, but then holding, have a look at the defense, see what they're doing. Unlucky there by Knights Eagles just losing the pill. Oh, going straight over the top of the player. Subs coming on for both teams here. A few tired legs going into the second period here. He's only got eyes for the line there. He put the ball under, tucked it under. He was going straight, wasn't passing. Barrowdale's coming through the middle, taking the ball, great field. Knights, Eagles, good scramble defense through the counter ruck there. Oh, yellow card issued there.
Okay, another, another great thing here is we've got great support by medical staff here at DFC Dubai Sports City. Uh, quickly onto the field, making sure that safety is paramount for all the players. Uh, it's really great to see these guys here supporting um, and helping in case of things like this. Player welfare is absolutely everything. Nice steep player back up onto his feet. So nice Eagles. Side there 22 looking to defend. Sproudhouse looking to take advantage. And Sproudhouse kicking to the corner. Nicely done there. 15 meters out. Ball there off the line, great take, but not loose from halfback. Sproudhouse straightening, nice defense here by Knights Eagles. Knights Eagles doing a great job in defense, not over committing. I mean. Over there, very steeled by Nice Eagles. Had all the rights to the ball, quick tap, and away they go. Oh, the line of up, you saw that one happen, saw that one. And he's caught him for offside, though. So, again, opportunity here for Nice Eagles to release some pressure. Quick tap, and he's made some great meter jib 20 30 meters upfield. A couple of good fins. It differently. So he's got a player down in the background here. Uh, medical staff, making sure he's okay. Great to see here in the second period here. Uh, great contest. I mean, uh, it's Mike Eagles actually winning this period 5 0 here uh, on the side of the uh, of the break. So Mike Eagles picking up their game, uh, doing what they need to do, holding on to position, giving us a good closure. Here we go, Ray again. Mike Eagles again. Talked about in the first period, they must have heard us. <laughs> a bit more territory, holding on to that pill, being in the right place, right part of the field. Now, really looking to capitalize. It's a wild taken there by Knight Eagles. Looking for runners. He's gone for the chip through. 
probably not the right idea. Uh, Barrowhouse in position now. Really bit of a missed opportunity there. And yeah, probably not the right option thinking through. Barrowhouse, a uh, bit lucky there, but fortunate. Knight's Eagle probably should have held on to the ball. Ran through a few phases, look and wait for the space to open up. So now Barrel House opportunity to clear. Again, just looking for, again, more territory, which is nice. Great tussle here in the second period. Great battle going on. What are your thoughts on the group there? You're thinking uh, the Knights Eagle looking for the big comeback of the season? Or are you looking and thinking Barrel House can hold out here for the next couple periods? Great contest going on. I said it's a lot closer. There we go. Eagles, Knights Eagles getting the turnover in the right part of the field. Looking to go quickly. Here we go. What options do we have? Well shifted. Yeah, nice, really different. Their barrel house players been called offside, so they're bringing it back to the centre. Options left and right now. That's it, nice and direct. Still a great opportunity here for Knights Eagles. They're only a few meters out. They're just going to hold onto the ball, take their time, look for their options, keep their composure. There should be another five pointer on the board. Here we go. They're taking it out wide, put it back in. Inside the ball there. But the Barrel House player over the ball. And yeah, rightly so. Looking for a bit of distance there, but Barrow's player not finding touch. Ooh, it's chipped forward. Bit messy, looking to tie it up. Looks like a knock on. And the referee did see that one. And that brings us to the end of the second period. So great second period there by Nice Eagles. Uh, winning that one actually 5 0, but the overall score, that's the one that counts here in Dubai Sports City. It is. Barrel House 24, Knights Eagle 5, the end of the second period. And it's the UAE Rugby Northern Emirates Division 1 battle here on a Thursday evening. Again, check your comments down in the comment section. Let us know what your predictions are for the third period. What do you think will happen? And we'll be back straight up with this. Welcome back to everybody here at Dubai Sports City, UE Rugby Northern Emirates. It's Barrel House 1 versus Knights Eagle 2. Uh, Barrel House leading after the second period, 24 to 5 over Knights Eagles. Final period to come. Remember, it's three 10 minute periods here. 
in this new format uh, of the UAE Rugby. And it's a 10 man game. Great to see everybody here um, online. Lots of great content, lots of great banter going on amongst the group. Great to see. Keep them coming. We've got 15 more minutes of action for you. Right, B 10s action. And we're about to get underway on the third period here, the third and final period of this Division One match. We're going to welcome back our man from down. Not quite in the middle today, but <laughs> down there today, holding the flag, uh, mate. It's good to be on the pitch, aren't you? Uh, You've got a bit of a sweat going on there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry if I stink. <laughs> Still all the play for me, though. 24-5? 24-5, yeah. Great there by uh, Knight Eagles in that period. Doing well, winning that one, actually. Five points to nil in that period. Yeah, yeah, great comeback. So holding on to the ball a bit better. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's nice early in the third period, but really it's Knights Eagles that are going to be the first to score, doesn't it? They need to, they need to know, uh, put their mark on the game now. Mm -hmm. This is their chance. This is their chance. And uh, what they have to do now is they've got to score first mm -hmm. and then keep that momentum. Keep that momentum. Yeah. Because uh, I, as I was saying in the first period, you know, you know, Barrelhouse is a fantastic, fantastic group of lads. Mm -hmm. you know, Mostly social, you know what I mean? Mm. Um, I, I, I believe Night Eagles put a lot more effort into training and everything like that. So this uh, will be a telling period, mm -hmm. the final period. Well, they've got the skill set, they've just got to get their ball and uh, keep the composure. I, I, I keep on to it like they yeah. did in the second period. Yeah. Because uh, they were a lot, a lot better at keeping on to it in the second mm -hmm. period. So here's the opportunity. Now we're running halfway. This is good. This is promising. Mm -hmm. Good, Look. clean possession. Fast. A little bit too slow, but they've got men outside. Mm -hmm. They didn't do that in the second period. They were looking just for that two pass. Keep it a little bit straighter. Um, Why give it away? The middle of the pitch. Hold on to it. Get down into the danger zone. Try something like that. No point in the middle of the pitch. But, uh, it's always easy from the sidelines. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. It's great. Uh, uh, yeah. Sideline critic. Sideline critic. <laughs> but yeah, uh, options. You know, that's the thing. They they, they did really well. The Dwight Nice Eagles they did really well in the second period. They held on the ball. They kept the I mean, a couple of passes. Kept it simple. Kept it basic. But you know, that's what won them that second period. So. Do you think of bring their back? But now we've got Barrett House in position. Sprinter wide. Oh, though. The change of weight. See some space in the back there. Get there, get there. Yes. Nice to be able to secure the ball. Barrett House Offside by Barrett House. Mm -hmm. Probably the time where Barrett House actually wanted a little more composure there. Yeah, uh, without a doubt. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that, that's unlike them. I think the tiredness is setting in now. Mm -hmm. We were speaking earlier about that. Yeah. And uh, maybe the, tar uh, the tiredness is setting in. They've got a good bench there to switch people around. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, 
maybe more they don't have to decide you to do it just yet. But, uh, I can see some tired feet out there. Mm -hmm. So here we go. There's the match we were like. Oh, support on his right. Didn't see him. But he's still got space. Mm -hmm. It's a great on the collar there. The little chip kick on advantage. We got a couple of our comments from down on the sideline there. <laughs> Great opportunity there from Knights Eagles, for Knights Eagles now. Great period of play. Bring it to right down to inside the 22. So taking momentum from that second period, bring it into that third here. And really, you, you want to see, if you're Knights Eagles fan, you want to see some points. You want to see some reward. All their great work, all their good momentum. This should be a practice set piece. Hopefully they've got a practice set piece here. Secure the ball, perfect. Let's get it out now. Too slow, too slow. Mm -hmm. Oh, a little bit great spin. And by Nice uh, Eagles. Uh, fantastic score. A fantastic score there. Doing what uh, you know, by Nice Eagles fans are looking for. Going through there. Even though I even though I was slow out of the breakdown. Uh, it was the angle, angle of running that uh, made that. No, oh, totally. Nice spin there at the end. Of the Didn't have to do much of a side set, just one foot to one side, and he was through. Excellent. Excellent try. There we go. Brings us to 24 12 in favour of Barrel House. So, that's what they're doing, chipping away. They've still got a good 13 minutes. 13, 11 minutes, sorry. I love it. Love it when it comes to them like this. The old nail biters. It's interesting that Barrel House aren't switching it up a bit more, you know. Uh, they haven't changed two players in a while. Yeah, maybe change one or two there, but uh, now is their time to get fresh feet on the especially being ahead. Mm -hmm. It's a nice advantage. So you say that if you look at the benches down there, they're all up on their feet. <laughs> a couple of players, maybe. They're eager to come on. Yeah. They're eager to come on. An unfortunate knock on there. And, uh, nice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here's a chance now for Barlow. Barrow's looking, we're looking to kind of, kind of steal this, not seal it completely, but you know, looking to make it a little more difficult if they get the score here. They do their signature pause from the free kick. Yeah, <laughs> coming accustomed to that one. You see them put a couple of plays through the through the middle, and then you see them go wide. Good defense, good defense. Barlow still have it. Change direction. Uh, they had men out there and uh, they didn't utilize that. Oh, but it's right on the side of the ball. Nicely done. We're going to make it a great defense, but nice Eagles. Can they keep out? Oh, oh, the made that. It was good defense by Knights Eagles, but the, offload, the offload just uh, because uh, we had two, three, uh, two, three men committing to that tackle. Uh, it was the offload then. Probably one of the little differences uh, of tonight's game has been the support. No, Brown House always seems to have runners there, or players there to support the ball carrier. And that's it, they're following up. They're, 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 they're never isolated. Mm. They're never isolated. Hey! Nice to be there, adding the extras there. Extra two. Here we go now. Still, what? Still just under 10 minutes? Seven and a half. Uh, unofficially? <laughs> unofficially, seven and a half. 31 12 favour on Barrel House. So 
great to see though, two, game, two teams that just want to play rugby. Yeah, you can see the boys are enjoying it, aren't yeah. they? No one's spoiling it, no one's, you know, they're just playing rugby. Mm. There hasn't been a card in the game and no reason for a card in the game. Well, no, actually one one. But yeah, I think yeah. That's I actually think but you so. know, that's uh, you know, it's it's the world rugby regulations. Yep. You know, you go through that, that sequence of events and you mm -hmm. have to give a card. So. You know, it's, it wasn't malice in the game. It was just uh, one of those technicalities you got to put. Yep. Contact to the head. You've got to do it. No, right. It's great to see four teams wanted to run it. Four teams wanted to take advantage of playing rugby again. Mm. There has been some great running rugby tonight, Steve. Mark's eagle here looking to. Oh, I've been turned over. Again, yeah, their, their, their scramble defence seems to have done them to, some good tonight. Yeah, 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 I think they were lucky there because there was two, two men barrel house outside and uh, if, if, if the offload happened, uh, yeah. there was no one there from that season. It would be a completely different story, yeah? Fantastic job there. Was that their winger coming across there? Yeah, yeah. 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 The winger came across right from the other wing. He had the awareness, he saw what was going on. He looked at the quick one while everyone else had their head down. Mm, fantastic. Yeah. Oh. Great play. Great awareness. Great effort though by the bar house, you know. Well they're making them work for it, aren't they? Oh, <laughs> Going for the corner, he's got the pace, he's got the legs. Yeah, great try. One of those ones you got to just pin the ears back and yeah. <laughs> go like Sometimes a rabbit. you just got to go for it. <laughs> you? Go. Sometimes you just got to go for it. Great individual try though. Yeah. Out of nothing really. Going across the whole defence. Eagles now surely surely thinking of getting a getting a try. Yeah, getting yeah. something out of something more out of this game. Us? I, I think they've got a lot out of this game because they played well. And they've uh, they've learned from their first period. They came back at it in the second. There's been a couple of couple of small moments, wasn't it, really, that's kind of just not quite gone their way. Um, Nice game. It's the bounce of the ball. Bounce of the ball, that's the, the one. The ball, they call and, uh, it. And that's the problem. And uh, it could have easily been. This period could have been there. Easily been, been there. It's yeah. only for a few. Rub of the green, bounce of the ball, or whatever you'd like to call it. Bring the old golf analogy in. Good run. In the 16. Good place. And he's up again. He could be here for another play. Great tackle. Oh, he's okay. Great tackle defence, yeah. Has he come back again? He's reading it well. He's, he's on a fantastic game. Or period. Oh, well, he's really good choice. Oh, I was actually about to say, there's, there's only a few minutes left here uh, in this match. Uh, Barrow actually now have the team wrapped up. But um, I was expecting to see a lot more free-flowing rugby. You know, it's risk and reward, you know, just got to throw the ball around and open it up, so, although I was expecting it from Knights Eagles, but, um, you know, again, you've got to have that pill there to do that. But uh, in that respect, uh, Barrelhouse have played it really well in that 
securing the ball, securing the ball, securing the ball, and then letting it out. They, they obviously have a game plan that they, you know, take it in, take it in, take it in, let it out. They, you know, I, I imagine if we really watch this game, there will be a pattern where you see, take it in three times and uh, let it out, or something like that. Yeah. They, they've obviously got, got that game plan in their head, they're stuck to it, they're stuck to it, and it's worked for them. And it's worked for them. Is that good conversion? I just missed that. Good. 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 This is good. They're, they're showing adventurism. They're showing adventurism. You adventurism. Know? <laughs> and, uh, it, it's brilliant. And yeah. you know, it's the down moments. They're behind and they're still going for it. Mm. And this, this is what rugby is all about. They're still going for it and they're re rewarded with the bounty. Yeah. Here we go again. We've got men outside. Our magic is the men outside. You know. Okay, take it in, secure it. He's not rolling away, surely. But, um, you look, see. Oh, but, he's oh, no, no, out to the, the advantage is still to Night Seagulls. Offside. Okay, we come back for the penalty for offside. So Carlos offside. Knights Eagles, another opportunity, and they've got men really wide out here on the right. Surely yeah. you'd be looking. Surely, surely you'd be looking at this credit. Thinking right. I do wonder if they did the chip kick because the advantage they had, or they've, uh, you know, they did in the oh, arsenal. Oh, taken it for counter and lost. And lost. That's unfortunate. Knocked on, knocked on by Barrowhouse. This time, tight. Knight Eagles. Let's see if we can get in their minds and bring it out to the right. Spread the ball. Spread it now. No. No. Okay. He's looked up, he's gone it's straight. Options. It's these little options that can lose you or win you a game. Division one here between Knights Eagles and Barrel House, and the score finishing up 23 to 12 in Barrel House's favour. Uh, give us your thoughts on the on the game. Well, I, you know, I, uh, I don't think the score reflects the game. I, uh, I think Knights Eagles really put up a good fight. But I have to say the one thing about Barrel House is I've been impressed with them this season. That uh, they've been consistent and they have a game plan. And uh, they, it's nice to see. They have a game plan and they've got the players and they use the, the skills of the players. It's really good to see. It's, it's nice for for them entering into the league and uh, you know putting up a good show. And yes, they've had their defeats in that, as uh, nice Eagles have as well, but they keep turning up week mm -hmm. in, week out. And uh, it's nice to see a good spectacle of rugby with people trying things, trying different things. Maybe not pulling it off, uh, but that's that's all practice on the training pitches. Right? Hundred percent. We saw moments there from Knights Eagles. I mean, especially in the second period. I mean, they they won that second period five 0 and they they got the uh, sympathy there. Um, we talked about position. We talked about territory. Where do you think they go from here? Well, I, I think what they need to do is they need to watch this match in the second period and see. Actually, what, look at their first and second period and uh, see what they learned and how they learned from the first game to the second period. Yes, they definitely interrupted Barrel House's game in the second period. Mm -hmm. Why they didn't continue that on? Because Barrel House uh, seemed to play the same phase of rugby. Totally. They didn't change. Play to the middle a couple of times, turn out wide. So yeah. why in the third period did Knights Eagles, maybe they had an attacking plan, I, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. that, that'll, that'll be for them to review. But definitely fantastic promise there from the Knights Eagles. And uh, again, applause for Barrel House that just keep improving with every game. And uh, maybe it's because they're getting fitter. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, two games left, I think. Is it two games left? Six. Six. Uh, or one. But yeah, 
just, fantastic season for both clubs. Just as it's up you guys online. Thank you guys for joining us. If you guys have any comments, questions, leave them in the comments section and let us know your thoughts. Um, it, next week, I know, I think it's Barrel House, so they've got a game against the Sharks. Um, that's next up. That's here again, actually, in Device Sports City. Sharkies. You know, have they got the bite? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> they, they performed well last week. They, they performed did. well last week. But they had a great bench, if you know what I mean. And mm -hmm. they used their bench well. Mm -hmm. Sharks used their bench very well. Was it last week or the week before, I was here? And uh, they used their bench well. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and that's key in this game. Yeah. Because, you know, as you know, it's very like seven. Isn't it? Totally, exactly. With regard to the pace. Yeah. And, uh, and they used their bench well. And they used their hard hitter as well. Mm -hmm. You know? They punched holes and yeah. then laid it up. And there's the, some big boys in the Sharks. Yeah, there is some big boys. <laughs> some big boys. Yeah. Again, another social club, you yeah, know what I mean? So. So, yeah. so, yeah, no, fair play. So it'll be an interesting game, that game. That'll be an interesting game. Two social sides are, mm -hmm. in theory, social sides. So, yeah, in yeah, theory, yeah. it's all in theory. They're all getting a bit uh, serious now, but yeah. <laughs> no, in theory, social sides, but it, it should be a great game, that game. It is coming to the end of the season. Only a couple more weeks here with UAE Rugby. It's Northern Emirates. Uh, we've got Premiership, we've got Division 1, we've got Division 2 for the next couple of weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed the coverage uh, brought to you by Fine for People. Um, until next time, stay safe. Ramadan Kareem, and we'll see you next time. Ramadan Kareem.